In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. Well, if you are experiencing spiritual desolation in these end times, you are not alone. I know it's hard, too, for those people who don't have a mass or a confessor that they trust. And I would say, Jesus, I trust in you. That is the best thing you can do right now. I know it seems boring and lonely for many people. Not just people in jail sometimes have the best of I know that sounds crazy but it's because they're with people who have been pushed into um, contrition many of them so that there's honesty at least and when you have superficial people and rich people taking over the churches which is happening now and the priests are backing these rich people you seem like if you're just an ordinary person if you're born and raised in the state you're in especially uh, you may feel like you're just ignored or pushed into a corner and that is completely normal right now if your marriage is is uh, in chaos you know or the person's divorced you, or in my case where my mother's a trafficking witch, uh, doing her evil deeds and laughing in the face of God, you're not alone. I know a lot of women and men too have gone through this or have, uh, suffer from uh, maybe they're, they were falling into sin and it ended up something they couldn't had no control over, such as their spouse or excuse me, their girlfriend or whatever, aborting their unborn child or something crazy like that. Uh, know that you are totally not alone. The fact the priests hide, want to hide and make people think they're perfect families is their own problem and not ours. I mean, it is our problem. But if that's what they want, then that is their reward. They're not going to have a reward in heaven if they want to create plastic people. Because the truth is, the devil has instinct himself into every single family right now in the world. And that's why they're having a lot of trouble. we got to pray really, really hard. But it's also in the church. And I'll put a link below so you can read this about the evil going on right now in the church.